Pete Souza joins me now in the studio. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me on. Well, first off, for those who may not know it, uh, the title of your book, Shade, plays out the phrase throwing shade. Can you explain what that means? Um, it's, it's making snarky comments uh, uh, about an individual or individuals that maybe are not so positive. What was that your intention when you started posting nostalgic photos of President Obama uh, on Instagram with your own captions? That, that was my intention. I just didn't know it was called throwing shade. <laughs> and and um, why did you feel the, a need to do that, to put up these photos with captions that define the contrast between the Obama administration and the Trump administration? I mean, I saw how, how difficult a job it is to be president and how serious President Obama took it. He respected the office of the presidency so much, and he, we don't see that now. And that was the reason why. I mean, if Mitt Romney or John McCain or Marco Rubio had been president, I wouldn't be doing this because they, I know they would have respected the office of the presidency. But now we've got a guy that lies every day, he bullies people, um, it, he's disrespecting the office. And I felt I had a voice to speak out. And as a private citizen now, you feel like you can. I can, absolutely. And, and I want to show a picture here. One of the uh, pictures from your book, it's from your Instagram account. It's a picture of, of President Obama talking with female aides. And you added a new caption that says, respect for women. Now, clearly, this photo took on new meaning for you more recently, given current events. How often does that happen when, uh, with your photos in that your perception of them changes over time? Well, I think it does. You know, the interesting thing about my Instagram feed is sometimes I post something uh, in a reaction to something he's tweeted or a news story and post it on Instagram, and people don't know what I'm referring to, and they have to go Google to find out what happened that day. You know, in the, in the book, I make it very clear what I'm referring to, because on one page, you see a Trump tweet, and on the other page, you see my response. When you first took that photo, though, what was your thought then? Just another meeting? It was just another meeting. And, um, you know, President Obama had a lot of women in top positions. Mm -hmm. I mean, his last three years, the top three national security aides were all women, mm -hmm. which is extraordinary. And now, of course, in light of the Me Too movement and current events and the current administration that's changed for you, what, what was it like to follow President Obama around and attend all these trips with him? Well, it was very, uh, it was very hard on your personal life. Uh, but no, it was a great privilege. It was a great way to see the world. Uh, oftentimes, President Obama would try to go and visit a cultural site when he was in a, in a country that he hadn't been in before. Th th those were the best trips when we got to do something like that. And did you get to see another side of him that we don't? Well, I mean, the, the great thing about my job, too, is I saw him in all compartments of his life. I mean, I'm in the situation room with him, but then I'm often with him and the girls, or you know, him and the whole family. And so I saw all the aspects of his life. And he's not any different than, than we perceive, uh, the, than most people perceive. He's probably funnier than people realize. And he's more disciplined than people realize. Uh, but he's not like really different, uh, you know, behind the scenes. And, and as you were photographing him, did you try to be a fly in the wall? Or did you develop more of a close relationship with him, a conversational relationship? Yeah, I had a conversational relationship with him, but you know, my job was to be an observer, to be a recorder of, of, of visuals. And there were some days where I, I might not say anything to him, and then other days, um, you know, we might have a conversation about, you know, our family or the the ball game, the latest ball game, that kind of thing. Were there things you decided not to photograph, or perhaps we're told you can't photograph? Uh, no, I mean, I I pretty much had access to everything, mm -hmm. and. Um, that all, every single photograph that I uh, made, 1.9 million, every single photograph is now in the National Archives. I find that so amazing. I mean, that's a lot of photos, lot right? Of Nearly photos. 2 million. Yeah. Uh, how do you go about finding the right picture when you want to post something? Do you have a special system of organizing your photos? Uh, no, it's pretty much uh, just up, up here. All 2 uh, million? No, not all 2 million. I mean, what I, my, basically, um, I'm um, um, choosing photos from one of the ones that we had made public while he was in office. Mm -hmm. We made, uh, given his, his uh, level of transparency, 
we made lots of pictures public on Flickr, Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. whitehouse.gov. And so all those pictures are kind of stored in my head. So oftentimes when Trump makes a tweet, I know exactly which photo I want to post. You were also an official White House photographer for President Reagan. What was it like working in the Reagan White House? It was different. I mean, Reagan was in his 70s and I was in my 20s. I was not the chief photographer, mm -hmm. so my level of access was not as good. But I did get to know President Reagan a little bit. And he, too, respected the office of the presidency. You know, politics aside, he was a decent human being. Um, so I sort of feel I could make this case now uh, and, and, not, and not be called partisan, because I've worked for both a Democrat and a Republican. And you, and you feel like they handled the pres presidency in the same way or in a similar manner, despite their policy differences? Uh, I mean, I think uh, President Reagan was more of a big picture guy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, just because of, because of his age, he wasn't as active. Um, but, but I, I he, you know, he respected the office and, you know, as much as President Obama did. And I know this is like asking someone to name their favorite child, but do you have a favorite photo from your Obama days? Uh, you know, there are so many. I mean, my main goal was to create the best photographic archive that had ever been done on a president. And I, I'll let other people choose which they think are the favorites or the most important. Well, you created quite an incredible archive. Pete Souza, it's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Your new book is titled Shade, A Tale of Two Presidents. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on.